Welcome to Between Over and Next with your hosts, Holly and Robert, a happily married couple who explore the space between what was, what is, and what's to come. From career changes to navigating life's uncertainties, this dynamic duo will empower you to live your happiest life at every age and stage. So get ready because your journey with Holly and Robert starts now. Hello and welcome to Between Over and Next. Hi, Holly. Hi, Robert. I love what we're talking about today because it's a topic that's very close to our hearts. And we're kind of going to give you a window into our world of working harmoniously with your better half. You're my better half. I'll agree with that. (laughs) We have been working together with each other, me, your first wife, you, my first husband, for quite a while now. How many years, Robert? Oh, more than three decades. That's correct. And today we're going to share our experiences and insights on maintaining happiness while working with your spouse. But frankly, this is for anybody that is working with a partner, especially someone in their family, I would say. What do you think? Yes, especially with someone in their family, without a doubt. I mean, partnership is a very important topic. And before we came on today, we were thinking about the people in our lives that we know that have experienced working together, not necessarily 24-7 the way we do. There are two (laughs) things that I get a lot. One is George Lucas. That's one. That you look like George Lucas. Yes. And the other is (laughs) almost 100% of the time when we tell people that we're married and work together, Almost 100% of the time, the reaction is, oh, my God, I could never do that. Almost 100% of the time. Partnership takes many forms. Sleeping, working, living, playing with your partner, and especially the working part, takes a lot of very special somethings to make it successful. We started reflecting on some of the people in our lives that we know have successfully worked together. And my mother and father always said to me that we reminded my grandparents, my father's parents, that we remind them of them because they work together. It was much more common in the past for couples and families to work together because that was the natural thing. You know, if you owned a business, generally your children worked in the business, your spouse worked in the business. That was just kind of the way it was, whether it's a grocery store, a mom, lot of and, mom pop, and pop, business, and, and sons, sons and daughters. Right, like Russ right? and daughter, right? Russ and Russ daughters. And daughters. Mm-hmm. So not only my grandma Ray and grandpa Abby, they worked together, whether my grandmother was behind the scenes taking care of the day to day business and mm-hmm. my grandfather was out and about mostly in the world of real estate and owning businesses. Then my father and uncle were in business together as brothers, and we know other brothers that are in business, own a deli together. And then we also know a lot of your videographer friends, right, like that are couples that have been successful in business together? Yes, there were a number of, of couples, and it was either just as you described where quite often there was someone going out and doing the jobs and then there was someone that was back minding the office kind right. of how you entered the the picture with me that is true so actually even alex's girlfriend's family they are all working together all right. of them the mother the father and the two daughters right are all in business together uh-huh. and it seems to work for them yes we have friends that are attorneys and a successful realtors that we had worked with mm-hmm. that were husband and wife, a brother-sister team, Henry and Michelle Roth, they were third-generation bridal gown designers, and they worked individually. They had their own signature looks, but they collaborated a lot together, and we'll share some of the, the videos that we have with them from the 
Planet Bride episodes that we produced on mm-hmm. Wedding Podcast Network. Yeah. And then we also were thinking of celebrity couples. I think of my my past and our 30 year ago to this 30 years. So I am a lover of all my children, the soap opera. If any of you out there remember that great soap opera. And I loved the actor and actress, Kelly Ripper and Mark Consuelos on All My Children. Fast forward 30 years later, they're live with Kelly and Mark. They took over Regis Philbin's show, right? When Kelly came on as his co-host. Mm-hmm. But it is so cool. And, and and actually, I was thinking about how Regis used to have his wife, Joy, come on as a substitute right. co-host. You know, and just talking about that harmony and that synergy and that, well, that always, ease of being together and talking with each other like we do. Well, there's a certain familiarity, certainly, when you have a romantically joined couple that is in the spotlight performing let's call it whether they have a talk show or or dancing together right that's you know that's still performing being in the public eye and you can tell when there's a married couple on camera together because there's a certain energy there's a certain dynamic between the two that you don't see with other couples co-hosts right and i think when you mentioned regis and kelly that felt more like a father daughter energy between them um but there was an and, affection and so, well it was it was much more personal than just tv co-hosts and that's why it kind of felt like he was kind of that father figure even though you know she has a father and a seemingly good relationship but in front of the camera that's kind of how it it came off because uh, they used to get annoyed with one another too, which was kind of a natural thing sometimes when you have a Are you a, telling me something? Couple. You get annoyed well, with me? Well, we've, we've <laughs> gone live a number of times, dozens and hundreds of times, and in a lot of it, I've, I've visibly annoyed you. Actually, but we yeah. couldn't edit that out because that's live. Well, that's when like this, this conversation right now that we're having, you might very well edit out. Everyone may not hear it. You know, about the whole disagreeing thing. No, I'm but, not going to edit that out okay, because we'll that's see. part of partnership. And, well, I and, agree. I mean, it's, being... it's, if it's natural you know, and authentic, you know, I'm always suspect of couples that say, oh, we never fight. <laughs> really? <laughs> really? But you Robert, know, are you sure you're playing the game right? Robert, you used to put on sunglasses, okay? You did that well, with intention so you could roll your eyes ro- behind them. Correct. And you know what? Go ahead. I still do what roll you my do. eyes at you. Yeah. And what about Bruce Springsteen and Patty? Oh, and they're on stage together a lot with their distinctive roles. These couples, including Holly and Robert, that are creating for you something enjoyable. We really love working together. Well, you'd have to. Either that or we're insane. The important thing is we found a balance that works for us. Yes. A big part of that is because we bring to the table very distinct abilities. So we're lucky in the sense that our skill sets mesh rather than step on one another, which I think is is kind of the secret to to our being able to do this for as long as we have. Well, we've created a brand since... We came home from our honeymoon, okay? So that is something you could see more about our journey and all the brands we've created on our about page on hollyandrobert.com. Mm-hmm. Mixing business with personal life, like Robert said earlier, most are in like shock and surprise and said, no, they don't want to do that. Some, I guess, think it's a recipe for disaster. But I believe that we're proof, you know, that well, with proof, the right approach. Proof that it can be done. Wait, you it know. can be done. It could be adventurous. There are ups and downs, but most of it is joyous and triumphant. And we've definitely found an equilibrium that's uniquely ours. We hope that as we share more about the intricacies of partnering professionally with your spouse, that it's going to spark some ideas for you whether it be with your spouse or another special someone that you want to partner with. I wrote an article 
back in 2008 for Huffington Post, which we will share in the show notes. And it was called All You Need Is Love, A Tale of a Happily Married Entrepreneurial Couple. At that time, we were only married 16 years, okay? And everything in the article is true today, Robert. There was nothing different. Now, I could have not forecasted the future of 16 years later that we were going to create more together after Wedding Podcast And now it's 16 years after that. Yes, it's 16 years. Since this article, since since you wrote this. That's correct. We always said our brands are our children. And that's what Wedding Podcast Network was. But we had two young children. At the time, Lindsay was 14 and Alex was 11. We had to keep their lives in schedules in mind, too. You had family balance that you had to take care of. At the time, you were running a successful video production company documenting special events. And then we were creating Wedding Podcast Network, which I'm so proud of. And we worked closer than ever. Like very, very closely. And what I realized well, then and now is that our compatibility is extraordinary. We are friends, lovers, and business partners. But if you think about it, Wedding Podcast Network was the first time that we had dual roles in the same capacity. Meaning... Like we were both on air recording content. We were both doing the same thing in business for the first time. (laughs) But prior to that, you were doing your thing and I was doing my thing. So you in in that in that regard. So say what that is. Separate roles. You were the producer. I was shooting, I was editing, and I was was meeting with the clients, business and managing the contracts and and doing the advertising and and networking and interfacing with the magazine editors and and advocating for the industry at large. We attended all of the conferences together, but I was going to the technical ones and you were going to the marketing ones. And you were also speaking. Correct. So I was your audience. You well, practiced a lot. I'm also your in-house critic. I, I think anyone who's been <laughs> married for... A significant amount of time and is happily married knows that you got to keep your spouse happy. If you don't, your life's going to be miserable. And but- however that manifests, it's important that your spouse be happy. If your spouse is happy, chances are you'll be happy. The one thing about us as business partners during the day and life partners all day, Mm -hmm. it's not necessarily easy. There's the power of like. We really like each other. It's important to be in business with people you like. Yes, but, you know, there has to be, you know, we don't like each other all of the time. No, there need to be boundaries. You know, we love each other all of the time. Yes. We don't like each other all of the time. That is true. It was but a little while earlier today that I, I didn't like you. But there is professional respect. <laughs> yes. Right? I mean, without, we we... without interfering with our romantic well, connection. Listen, you know, living an entrepreneurial lifestyle. It's a dance, Robert. Right. It's a dance. But when you're in the corporate sphere... As much as you can be valued and are important to the machine, you're always somewhat in jeopardy. You're always at the mercy of someone else's decision on your fate. I haven't been in that situation in a long, long time. I don't know if I could take that emotionally now being so out of control and putting my heart and soul into something and then having someone else say, oh, you know what, we're, 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 we don't need you anymore. You're done. And that's anyone in the corporate space. And yeah, do they give you a nice package as they push you out the door? Sure, terrific. But it turns your world upside down. We have you each know, other's best interests at heart. We that's do. a really important thing. It is roles and responsibilities, risk and reward. We know that we have each other's back and that we're we're there for one another emotionally. We've built 
our foundation on some fundamental principles. Communication. Yes. Trust and respect. Correct. Mutual respect. Correct. We've been fortunate in that we've always approached things with eyes wide open. We've said this on numerous occasions. Look far down the road rather than what's right in front of us, which I think has helped us when, you know, as much as we've joked that it's not so good being on the cutting or bleeding edge because sometimes early, ado- early sometimes you're there alone. But eventually people catch up and what that allows you to do is it allows you to enter a space so far ahead of everyone else that you eliminate the learning curve. And you just are merging right into the flow of what's going on. We count on each other. We really make decisions together. We Mm -hmm. really do. If you're going to move forward or edit or revise, plan, do, review, assess, repeat. I say that all the time. Mm -hmm. That is a really important thing to assess what we're doing. Does it make sense? Is it serving you as the audience? Is it making sense to us on what we want to ultimately deliver? Yeah, and it allows each of us to keep an eye on the other, right, in an honest way, to know that we're not just going to get yes just to make things okay, that we're going to get honest feedback, which is not only important in a relationship, you know, personal relationship, but even more important in a business relationship. There have been plenty of times where... One of us thinks we've got a great idea. And then when we share it, after a few minutes of like, hey, you didn't think about this and you didn't think about that, you're like, you know what? This is not such a great idea. And if you don't have that honest feedback, you might be going down a rabbit hole. Ultimately, you have to be proud about what you're going to accomplish. Partnering with your spouse professionally is not devoid of obstacles. And when you have a shared workspace, which is our house, there have to be a clear division of what we are doing, when we're doing it, why we're doing it. Well, there's a strategy of of working from home, period. Now, more than ever, where so many people are working remotely at least part of the week, having a a workspace that you can be separate is important. No matter who you're working with, where you're working, you need to cultivate a work environment steeped in positivity because collective happiness does matter. And it always has to be prioritized. What I'm grateful for is that I know you're always in my corner Mm -hmm. and I am always in yours. Yes. When I wrote this article, I kind of chunked it into three distinct paragraphs. What's good? What's bad? And then I summed it up that we are a dynamic duo and we do enjoy the ups and downs of life and business partnership together. But we must. We must because we're still doing it. And even every time we've launched something new, whether it was even in recent years, you know, when we launched Kind of Pop-Up, there was skepticism. When we launched that home event, what are you doing? When we started another podcast, you know, people are are like, (laughs) okay, you're going to do that again. I do think that the people are like, wow, they really persevere. We are resilient. Our personalities are very different. Well, they are, but they're complementary, and that's what makes us a successful couple, is that we're not performing the exact same roles and duties, you know, in just about any role that's necessary. I mean, other than knowing which of the many buttons here to press. I'm not that person. I can't do that. that. You know, (laughs) I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about for most of the things that we do, we're pretty familiar with how it's done because they think any leader that we're leading our company should be able to step into any role and do it for the most part or understand it. And, and I think as partners in business, 
you know, understanding it, not being able to necessarily do each other's roles, but having an understanding of each other's roles is important. I just want to read a couple of things from this article that I wrote, because I wrote, we both wear many hats, but each brings something special to the company. We both have creative input and mm -hmm. deal with most of the daily operations together. We help each other accomplish our goals daily. Robert is the executive producer and the master tech guy, ensuring the best audio quality and production value. Still, your role, mm -hmm. right? I prioritize the aesthetics and brand as well as book guests on the network. Respect, trust, hard work, talent, patience, high energy, and self-motivation are integral to any strong partnership in business and marriage. Okay? That all stands true today. We are very true to our values, our mission. I also share that on our Holly and Robert About page because that is really important for you to know what matters most to us and each other. What's bad, and it's not all good all the time. That would be unrealistic. We work together nonstop, 24-7. Something always needs to be done. Proposals, emails, emails, and more emails. Phone calls, meetings, scheduling, sales, marketing, publicity, newsletters, recordings. Still doing that, Robert. It's hard to switch the off button. Business chat rules, whether at home or in the car. Arguments, complaining, and shop talk need to be kept in check. There's a high level of stress. Pick your battles. We don't always agree, but try our best to compromise or escape and watch some reality TV. Not agreeing sometimes results in a battle, but we learn and grow from this too. Making up can be fun. I mean, isn't that so true? Yeah. Of yeah. what we do? Absolutely. So here I say it's not easy working with a spouse but we achieve personal satisfaction because we believe that what we are working on is innovative and helpful to couples worldwide. Being a loving, married, husband-wife team in the business of love, weddings, and marriage is a powerful connection that offers credibility and comfort to our audience. They trust us personally and professionally. And I am so proud of what we have accomplished together. So, Robert, share some of the top tips for successful partnerships including spouses that are working together. We've already discussed making sure that your roles and responsibilities are distinct, even though that there you know, is crossover and you should understand e each of those. An open line of communication is critical to any partnership, especially one of, of a business and personal nature, because when you get heated... Sometimes time is the best solution to that, time and distance. If the person you're getting heated with, you're also going to sit down to dinner with, and you're also going to get into the same bed with, you know, it's different. Being able to, you know, communicate and get that out is even more important as opposed to you leave at the end of the day and you have that 10 hours, 12 hours in which to cool down and come in the next morning and everything's okay. Being communicative is important as well as setting boundaries that, you know, again, that, that kind of goes hand in hand with communicating is understanding where does the personal life begin? When does the day end? And some days that changes, that time changes, doesn't always end, you know, at six o'clock or 6.30, there are other things and it doesn't always start at nine. You know, I was at my desk this morning at just past 2.30 in the morning. I couldn't sleep. I said, let me work. Let me get some stuff done because I could just kind of lay there and not being able to sleep. And, and sometimes it's good having the office so nearby, and sometimes it's not good because if it were two or three or five, five miles away, I would not have gotten in the car and gone and driven over to my office. I want to compliment you. All. I'm going to give you a compliment and how proud I am of you. This is a really good time to tell you that because when I woke up this morning, I would say, let's say 645 and you're not next to me. Okay. I really, I thought you were in the bathroom, right? But you weren't, you were downstairs working, but I started to look at my phone and I was wowed based on our conversations just yesterday, our meeting mm -hmm. about business, mm -hmm. you accomplished so much at 5.30 this morning until 
seven thirty this morning. No, it was from two thirty okay, this I was just, morning. I was looking at seven thirty. Okay, this so morning. I right, right, you're right because the thing is, by the time you shared it with me, it was already done. So Correct. you shared with me your LinkedIn newsletter. Which can we include a link of that in our? We can. In, okay. Wow, it's so fantastic. It's all about the pivot, and actually, based on this, knowing we were going to record this about partnership. The article is all about partnership. It's excellent. So Robert respectfully shares it with me. I proof it. And that's teamwork. So that was excellent. Then we talked about um, a few other things. And before I knew it, there it was. Like he did this, 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 and this. Talk about productivity. And then he even discovered an event for us to go to, which we always invest in our personal and professional development. We are lifelong learners, and I signed up for that today at Montclair State University. So all related to our business. It'll be a networking opportunity, a learning opportunity, and to be with people at an event. So, And it's local. It's easy enough. It's not, It's nearby. So everything you did this morning, yay you. I mean, and, and by the way, that's one of the tips, okay? Celebrating successes together. That right. was a success. So so I'll just run quickly down some of the others. The yeah. list. So respecting each other's strengths and weaknesses, you know, again, having clearly defined roles is based on strengths and weaknesses. I'm not going to be doing something that I'm not really good at when you're really good at that. That would that would be silly. We are a very good team. And we we do share vision and and goals and that's true with any partnership. Certainly magnified for a married couple because many times that shared vision for your business crosses over heavily into your personal life and and being an entrepreneur is based in wanting to and being able to be in control of your schedule your daily schedule not having someone else dictate that to you having quality time we, you know, again, very important to be able to switch off and take a ride and, and or a walk or, you know, just kind of do something else. Patience and understanding. I'm very good at that. Holly is not. We celebrate our successes. We, we, we do not profess to know everything, but we like to think that we know lots of people who collectively might know more than we do. We're never shy to look to others for help when we we need it, and you should too. And you should always kind of take a step back, look at what you're doing, evaluate it, change direction, adjust if necessary, and understand that your business and your relationship is a living and breathing thing that's always changing and evolving. I love Living, working, playing, doing everything with Robert. And I am speaking my truth. And I'm curious, have you ever mixed business with romance? What challenges have cropped up? What strategies did you employ to forge through them? We would love for you to share your stories and reach out to us. And maybe even you'll be a guest on Between Over and Next. And we really hope that if you found this helpful or if it sparked any amount of joy or reflection in your partnerships, marriage, business, we really hope you'll subscribe to this podcast and don't miss any of our Between Over Next episodes. We yeah. release a new episode every Tuesday, and they're always filled with stories to help you navigate your work and love life. Yeah. So thanks for being my partner, Holly. And I always look forward to each day going to work. Me too. Seeing you, which sometimes means just rolling over in bed and seeing you there. That's when the day starts, which is not a bad place to start the day. Thanks for tuning in to Between Over and Next. We hope you enjoyed this episode and found it meaningful and insightful. If you value it to be worthwhile, please share it with your friends and family. We would really appreciate it if you could take a moment to write a review for us. Your feedback will help us continue to create content that resonates with you. And don't forget, in the show notes, you can find all the relevant links mentioned in this episode, from accessing free downloads to visiting our website and more. If you have any questions or comments, we would love to hear from you. Simply send us an email. Our email address is 
hello at hollyandrobert.com. We're always excited to connect with our listeners. So until next time, thank you again for joining us on Between Over and Next. Thank you for listening to Between Over and Next, the podcast that navigates the twists and turns of life with courage, laughter, and a whole lot of inspiration. Tune in every Tuesday to hang out with Holly and Robert on your favorite podcast platform. Visit hollyandrobert.com and follow them on social media to ignite your passion and fuel your dreams.